Hey guys, I'm Olivia with Signal by Sony. I'm back in the studio today with Kenta from Digital Imaging. And Kenta, today we are looking at the RX100 Mark III. Exactly, Mark III. All right. So it's a, a new addition to the RX100 family. It's a really cool update to the RX100 series. Um, basically, um, three new key things. Mm -hmm. First one is the image processor. It's now Beyond Zex. Okay. Now, Beyond Zex was introduced with the Alpha 7 series. Mm -hmm. Now it's in our compact um, RX lineup. Better image quality for low lighting situations as low well. Low light, um, the detail, all these really cool stuff to make your images become Packed even into that new processor. Even better than the RX100 okay. Mark II. But on top of that, you get an even, even better lens. Yes, the lens. So, so this is a 24 to 70, mm -hmm. 35 millimeter equivalent. Yep. Okay. And it looks like um, 1.8 to 2.8. Now, one thing that's really great about this lens is that we have a super fast aperture mm -hmm. when it's zoomed all the way out. So what about macro capabilities? Yes. So macro capability is excellent on this camera as mm -hmm. well. But also in this lens, we have uh, ND filters built okay. in. So you have three steps of ND filters. So even right. if we're shooting at 70 millimeters and we're all the way wide open at 2.8, that means using those ND filters, we can still get that cinematic look for our video. Right. You can still maintain that shallow depth of field. Exactly. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about the EVF or the electronic viewfinder mm -hmm. because on the RX100 Mark II, you had to buy an additional accessory, which was upwards of 300, 350, 50, yeah. somewhere around there. Mm -hmm. um, with this, the EVF is now on the camera. Yeah, exactly. And the camera still is pretty pocketable and small. So really cool stuff about this uh, lens um, EVF is that it's also T-star coded. Okay. So what that means is that even if you're shooting in really bright conditions, um, you're not going to get that glare coming in, so Got you can't it. really see it. Right? Got it. You also get, um, it's, it's a 1.4 million dot SVGA OLED viewfinder. Okay which makes it the same as the RX10 viewfinder. Right, right. With the uh, new Beyond X mm -hmm. image processor, what does that mean for the ISO on this Mark III? Now it goes down all the way to 125 to mm -hmm. 12,800. Okay. Right? But it's also expandable down to 80 as well. Nice, okay. Now what is the file format for recording on this camera? Yeah, so we have the regular JPEGs, okay. um, the raw uh, file images as well. But the advancement point here is with um, video. So with video, you can uh, record with XAVCS. But what it is, it's uh, it's able to record at higher bit rates. Okay, so, so 50. 50 megabit, uh, megabps. Okay. So beautiful uh, image quality in terms of video. Yeah. Uh, now, what does that mean in terms of our SD card? Because I don't think you can actually record that to a standard SD card. That's uh, that's correct. So the SD card that you want to find is the SDXC card. But um, for stills, we know JPEG and RAW. That's that's standard yeah. SD card we can go ahead and use. Mm -hmm. um, and then also for the AVC HD, we can use a SD card. Yep, any standard SD card. Okay, so tell us about the frame rates of video for this camera. Yes. So frame rates, um, it goes all the way up to 60p, um, okay. 1080 full HD, mm -hmm. down to 24p. All right. So that's all user selectable. Mm -hmm. And then we do have 120p uh, HD which okay. is uh, 720p. At 720p, all right. Yeah. So again, for video users, uh, this camera, what other video features does it have? So it has Zebra, zebra yeah. focus peaking. Focus peaking is available, so it's it's great for social shooters as well, yes. you know, especially the focus peaking. So what about the uh, burst mode? Burst mode, um, it's 10 frames per second. Okay. Now looking at the ports here, mm -hmm. it looks like we have NFC, we have Wi-Fi. Is there GPS on this camera? No GPS. But there's a whole host of you know, apps that you can download from the internet. Some are free, some are paid. Mm -hmm. And then the great thing about Play Members Camera Apps is you know, we have a lot of apps right now, but mm -hmm. we're still building upon it. So in the near future, you'll see start to see more apps. So that added. bank of apps is going to grow? Yes. Okay. We have a Yes, that's multi? the multi-USB multi, multi uh, USB terminal. Okay. So you can do your in-camera battery charging here. Okay. And also the HDMI port as okay. well. And this is a micro yes, HDMI right. port. All right, and then on the bottom, it just looks like we have our card slot for SD or SDXC. XC, yeah. And then we have our battery, and also it looks like a female standard quarter 20 thread. Yep. All right, so just internal mics. Internal mics, yeah. Okay. The LCD screen on this camera looks to be about the same. Yeah, it is the same. Right. It's a three inch LCD screen. So now it does do 45 degrees downwards, but also 180 degrees. 180 for the selfies. Exactly. So. <laughs> will the screen orient to portrait? Yes, it will. It will yeah. Excellent. So let's talk pricing and availability. Sure, yeah. yeah. So this is going to be priced uh, at $799. Uh, if you think about all the great features, the great lens, the mm -hmm. Beyond Sex processor. EVF. You know, EVF. 
$799, it's a great price. Okay. Um, we also do maintain the RX100 Mark II mm -hmm. and the RX100 original. So the line will still be existing? Correct. Okay, yeah. so what are the uh, RX100 Mark II and the RX100 going for yeah. currently? So $799 for Mark III. Okay. Uh, Mark II will be around $649 um, currently. And then uh, 100, RX100 original is $499. Gotcha. So I hear you might also be releasing some information about pricing on the A7S? Yes, that's correct. We're very excited, um, so check that out as well. Okay. We released that today. All right. With that, to check out anything Sony, go to youtube.com slash signal.